Did you know that Jesus calls us to leave everything to follow him? Leave everything. Anything and everything that gets in the way of Jesus, we need to leave behind. In our gospel reading for this coming week, it's from Mark chapter 1, Jesus calls some special men to leave some very important things behind to follow him. In one of the verses, he says, repent and believe the good news. Repent means to leave behind your sin. You say, well, that's easy to do. No, it's not. It's impossible for us on our own to leave behind our sins. We need Jesus. We need his love and forgiveness to leave behind a single sin, any sin. And Jesus calls us to leave behind all sins and follow him and to trust in his wonderful forgiveness for every time we find ourselves hanging on to those sins. There's something even more tangible that Jesus calls his followers to leave behind. Their stuff. Jesus is going to ask a couple of men named James and John to be his followers. They were fishermen. Seems very successful. Their father had a business with hired men. But when Jesus said, come and follow me, they left the business, they left the hired men, they left their father, they left behind a successful career to follow Jesus. There's not going to be guilt here, but it's always good for us to ask the question, what might I have to leave behind to follow Jesus? A relationship with a friend who pulls me in the wrong direction? A job or money that pulls me away from Jesus and has become a higher priority than him? This isn't guilt. Look at Jesus' grace, his undeserved love. He died for you on a cross. He rose to assure you of a place in heaven. Anything on this earth, it doesn't compare to Jesus. Any stuff, any sin, leave it behind. Follow Jesus. Thanks for watching.